Hi everyone, welcome to another video of JK Network Services, Life is Amazing World of the Philippines. Beside me today is our very special guest who will be joining our video for today and will be sharing her experiences as an expat here in the Philippines. Hi Ms. Teresa. Hello Mom Jessa. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am signed in Vietnamese name and you can call me Teresa. I am stayed in the Philippines over 10 years already. Okay, so uh, Ms. Teresa is a Vietnamese national and she's been yes. staying here in the Philippines for 10 years already. 10 years guys! 10 years! <laughs> 10 years! <laughs> okay, so Ms. Teresa, since we are very um, interested to know you more, to know your story and your experiences living here in the Philippines, our team prepared some um, series of questions that, <laughs> that we would like to ask you since we are dying to know this information for sure. Okay, so okay, without further ado, let's get started. It's like a game. Okay, first question. Before moving here in the Philippines, what exactly is your idea about our country? Uh, actually, before moving to the Philippines, I didn't have any ideas. I came here to the Philippines 2009. As a tourist, it's a, an invitation for a profession of the sisters. It's a Vietnamese sisters. Mm -hmm. Then I came here by chance. Mm -hmm. uh, they call me by accident. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good accident, actually. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. What made you move or replicate here in the Philippines? Um, when I came to the Philippines for the first time, huh? For the first time as a tourist, uh, I feel that Philippines is a place where I really want to stay for a while because um, I discovered that Philippines culture is uh, the same. Some of some of the Philippines culture is the same Vietnam, and the people in the Philippines is very hospitable, nice accommodation. And the prices here are very affordable. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest culture shock you had so far during your stay in the Philippines? Ah uh, yes, the culture shock is uh, it's a big shock for me. <laughs> it's called the Philippine stamp. Philippine stamp. Na oras na Filipino. Filipino time. Yes, Filipino stamp. You know why? Because uh, this is my first time to experience when when the people set a time for a party or for an event at 6 o'clock you expect them to arrive at 7 or 7.30 <laughs> 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 Is right? Yes. Then I like also the Manu 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 Yeah, Pak Manu, Pak Ma Manu Tama Pak Ma Manu Yes, Pak Ma Manu Pak Ma Manu This is um, a blessing that uh, the children uh, ask for the elder to bless them in their forehead. I think Manu is mean hand in Spanish. Manu po. Manu po is an expression of a uh, sign of respect. And in Vietnamese, it's like, yeah, vâng ha, ah, ah, in Vietnamese. Yeah, we, we give sign of respect to the elderly. But I love that culture. I love that pak maman. Pero the Filipino style and uh, <laughs> it's really shocking, right? Yeah, it's really shocking. Xin chào mọi người, mình muốn chia sẻ với mọi người về cuộc sống ở Philippines. Ở Philippines nó có nhiều cái rất là thú vị, giống như vấn đề như là người ta sẽ bỏ tay lên trán, bạc mà mà nó, người ta sẽ bỏ tay lên trán để chúc lành, để giống như một đứa trẻ sẽ lấy tay lấy tay của người lớn đặt lên trán mình để xin chúc lành và câu trả lời của nó là xin chúa chúc lành cho bạn tại vì đây là một nước công giáo bởi vì là một nước công giáo nên là khi họ tổ chức lễ giáng sinh cũng rất là khác biệt với việt nam mình tại vì ở đây là từ đầu tháng 9 bắt đầu tháng 9 là người ta đã trang trí mọi thứ ở ngoài đường trong siêu thị đều có tất cả đều có trang trí hết rồi trước lễ giáng sinh chín ngày thì người ta có cái uh, lễ trước giáng sinh chín ngày người ta gọi đó là Simpangkabi thì cái Simpangkabi này người ta đi lễ rất là đông 
bốn giờ rưỡi sáng là lễ thì ba rưỡi là người ta phải đến nhà thờ người ta ngồi tại vì không có chỗ đấy cho buổi tối thì người ta gọi là thì buổi tối người ta cũng có để tám giờ và người 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 tham dự rất là đông đấy thì mình thấy những cái phong tục của ở phi là như vậy nó rất là vì là đất công giáo nên là nó mình cũng rất là với là mình cũng theo đạo công giáo nên là mình cũng thấy hợp với bản thân mà mình cũng thích cái phong tục như vậy Okay, about the food, transportation and housing in the Philippines, I think it is very affordable. I chose to stay in the Philippines and I also invite my friends to stay in the Philippines because of that reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even in studies, mm -hmm. it's very affordable and because the Philippines is a English country, mm -hmm. you speak English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, English speaking country, so it's very good to to stay here. And the prices are um, cheaper than the other part of the world, like European and Europe. Next, there's a common misconception that it's dangerous to live here in the Philippines. What can you say about that based on your experience? Actually, I don't have any ideas about this. And then I think that's not all. Some some are true naman, but not all, not at the time, yes. not all time. Alright, so let's go to the next question. During your stay, have you ever felt like it's financially challenging to live and settle in your communities? Oh my god, it's about money, no? <laughs> <laughs> yes, naman, because when you stay in a, in another country, yes. yeah, it is fair country, it's challenging about the financial. Mm -hmm. But I, since I stay in a religious community, that there's no problem for me about that. Yeah. Mr. Rasa, would it be possible for you to share how you are able to land a job here in the Philippines? Uh, actually, it's easy to land a job here in the Philippines. Uh, find a company, especially in JK. JK, I think uh, that is a company that you, uh, give you more opportunities Choose. Actually, I have offer, I have preferred preferred many friends to JK. Okay, what's your most favorite thing about living in the Philippines? Living in the Philippines, I am most traveling. Traveling. <laughs> okay. Yes, traveling is good in is because there in the Philippines we have many islands. Oh, yes. So traveling to islands, uh, from one island to other islands is good, mm -hmm. and the feeling is parang. Uh, you are on a trip like Baguio, like Vigan City. See, Vigan City is a good city, no? It's a, how you call that? Um, an old city. And in Baguio City, it's like, just like in Dalat, Vietnam. Ah, the weather is very good. Mm -hmm. There are many veggies. Mm -hmm. There are many flowers, food, stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's a highland, right? Mm -hmm. And in Batangas, mm -hmm. there are many beaches there in Batangas. Mm -hmm. That's good also. And, then, and the resorts. The resorts, <laughs> yes. And actually, in Philippines, in Aram Manila, there are many views also, mm -hmm. like um, Cathedral, Manila mm -hmm. Cathedral, yes. no? mm -hmm. uh, Intramuros, mm -hmm. uh, churches in the Philippines, yes. churches like Baclaran, Diapo, mm -hmm. yeah, they are famous in the Philippines, I think. Okay. I love also the tradition of the Philippines, that's a new that the Catholic tradition, yes. <laughs> yeah, Catholic yes. tradition in the Philippines. Example during Christmas, uh, you stay in another part of the world, but you stay, you still coming back to celebrate the day. Yeah, that I, I believe that the, the faith of the Filipino are strong. Mm. Yeah, then I love that con, uh, that uh, tradition. Mm -hmm. okay, now down to our last question. Okay, so this is the last one for you. Do you believe or do you agree that it's more fun in the Philippines? I always tell my friends that whenever they ask me question that how do you feel about Philippines? My question is, is really more fun in the Philippines? <laughs> yes. Okay, so how do you say it's more fun in the Philippines? I agree. <laughs> I think I think all the foreigners here agree that more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. Before we finish this video, Mr. Teresa, is there any message you would 
would like to give or to say to our viewers or to those people who are interested to um, work as a bilingual in the Philippines, especially for Vietnamese people? Okay, in Vietnamese, right? Yes, in Vietnamese. Okay. Uh, xin chào mọi người. Thực ra mình cũng đã sống ở Philippines 10 năm rồi nên mình thấy xin được ở Philippines cũng không phải là một điều khó khăn gì. À, đặc biệt nếu như mà các bạn biết một chút về tiếng Anh thì cái việc xin việc thì cái vấn đề xin việc nó cũng dễ dàng. Với lại à, ở làm việc ở Philippines thì mình phải làm việc văn phòng, làm việc trên máy tính, rồi cái mức lương của nó cũng cao. Rồi như vậy về mình có nhiều cơ hội để khám phá và học hỏi tiếng Anh hơn. Và mình cũng chúc các bạn sẽ tìm được một công việc cho phù hợp với bản thân của mình ở Philippines. Đấy. Mình chỉ có một vài lời như vậy gửi đến các bạn thôi. Thank you very much once again, Mr. Teresa, for being with us today, for sharing all of those um, experiences with everyone. And uh, to all our viewers, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to put a thumbs up to this video if you find it very helpful. Until the next video!